There's been a lot of talk about the Hunter Biden plea deal, which kind of fell apart. And there were issues with it that the judge had, but we've now gotten the actual plea deal released. The judge went in reviewing the plea, noticed a couple of things, one of which was a determination of basically what we would call in the law blanket immunity. That means not just like the the crimes that were being investigated during this period from you know 2014 to 2018, but rather any crimes that could have been committed between that period, known or unknown. And the determining factor, if there was a breach of the agreement, and you talk about a two-tiered system of justice, rather than it resting with the Justice Department, they wanted the judge to do it. And the judge said, I'm not the prosecutor, I'm the judge. I think what is most interesting here is, this is what the vice president's son was doing business with. Ukraine, China, and Romanian companies. Devin Archer literally said Burisma wouldn't have survived as a company without Biden on the board. We also know that it's not limited to just phone calls. That there were a number of these times where they would go meet, usually at the, that restaurant, Cafe Milano, to use, as they called it, the Biden illusion of access. You and I both know. When you put the vice president of the United States on the phone, you are messaging. Uh, I think Devin Archer apparently called it branding. Um, but make no mistake about it, Vice President Biden would have known the reason he was on that phone call as well. And I think that's important. This is really about the current president, President Biden, not about Hunter. Uh, the vice president would have known the reason he was getting on that phone call. It was to advantage his son, to help his son communicate to those folks that he would have access to the United States government at the highest levels. And to your point, um, this is... This is indecent to leverage that office in that way for the benefit of your child or, in this case, for you as the vice president. One dinner and $3.5 million gets wired the next day from a Russian billionaire into the Biden's account. Well, what was the pure, thing? Pure, pure coincidence, Jordan. Pure coincidence. Yeah, well, let me give you another coincidence. Give a lot, me, tell tell the story about more. the Kazakhstan. Uh, oh, in Kazakhstan. You're right. Uh, uh, that was another dinner. They had the photo of it. And this plea deal, now that we've seen it, I mean, nobody in America, Mike, would have gotten a plea deal where it said this. From 2004 to, uh, 2014 to 2018, anything you did, known or unknown, we are absolving you from. Absolute moxie. Jay, you sh you've done bad work. You should have gotten that for every one of your clients. Yeah, for right. I feel terrible. I mean, right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I couldn't get them absolved from everything they thought. <laughs> exactly. Even the prosecutor had to admit he'd never done this before, that this was completely unique. It was he was asked, can you identify another case that, in which this is happening? He had to say, no, nah, we've never done this before. That that suggests there's a lot more to this, too. The Biden team thought they were going to sweep this under the rug and that the judge didn't permit that to happen. And American people will be better off for that. And I think there's still a lot we don't know. And to, to for the prosecutor to have shown up with that, with that deal, um, I can't imagine how that person doesn't resign from their position. There's no explanation for any of this other than two-tiered system of justice. Yeah, I mean, and the money keeps piling up. So it's the money within the the actual plea deal seems to be just the tip of the iceberg. Because we're, we're learning about going to a dinner and $3.5 million being transferred into the account the next day. That was by the mayor of Russia's wife, the mayor of Moscow's wife. So the mayor of Moscow, it was a billionaire. Um, his wife goes to dinner with Hunter and Joe Biden, and literally the next day, $3.5 million is transferred into the account. We have laws in America that if that transfer is made, uh, you're going to have to prove that it was legitimate. Yep. Basically, if you're going to take that money, there is a lot of, of steps to go through. Typically, you'd have to register as an agent. You'd have to justify it. Then you have to pay taxes on it. And remember, what we were told from the beginning was that Hunter paid everyone's bills. Paid everybody's mortgages. No one in America would get that deal. And that's when the lawyer had to honestly say when the judge asked the U.S. asked the U.S. attorney, have you ever seen a transaction like this? And you know what his answer was? No. Do you have any precedent for this? No.